when you talk about power storage there is no concept of storing power you know when you talk about companies like ntpc or adani power or gsw energy or tata power companies that produce power using thermal sources the storage is coal itself so it's not like they can produce electricity and store it in some kind of stabilizer and supply it when needed the coal is lying there and whenever there is demand they just start boiling you know water and they start burning coal and it's think of it like your house has a bulb you you switch on the light and in real time the moment you switch on that light in real time the coils start turning where the power is being made so you know i'm not going to get into the scientific details of how the coils which are rolled onto the stabilizers work but just remember that because this is important for later for storage you know for thermal coal itself is the storage for hydro and solar for hydro for example you know the you have a reservoir so the water falls down and then when it falls it starts rotating the coils and you have a pump whenever there is need for power the pump pushes back water on top of the reservoir it falls again and then starts rotating the uh, coil so the storage is water itself so the only true storage storage that you're talking about is batteries and i'm going to come to that but batteries should not be confused whether it's uh, lithium ion batteries or now sodium ion batteries which india is making because we have a lot of sodium and that's the that's the goal but even if you talk of ev batteries that's not power generation because those batteries need to be charged so power generation companies will always be power generation companies evs are not a threat to them this is something i thought a lot of people get confused with and this is something i should put out so you see what batteries do is they store power they in no way produce power and transmission lines will still be needed to charge the batteries or the plants wherever they are unless of course you're charging it using solar panels so one of the reasons demand is also coming down is because people are installing a lot of solar panels above their houses or for their smaller factory outputs and then for that you don't need transmission line it's literally solar power being supplied to your house but that's a very very small percentage i don't see that making any dent at all in the long term and as for lithium ion batteries you know in case of interest i'll just explain so basically how the batteries work is there's lithium ion on one side and there's graphite on the other side in fact now they're planning to have sodium instead of lithium ion because india has a lot of sodium and lithium ion is as you know it's essentially all china or it's all imported so they're trying to experiment with sodium the idea is to make these batteries more and more powerful so electricity is pushed in from one side and it goes to the other and in between there are electrodes the the process is called intercalation so in between there are electrodes which get charged that's how the battery is stored in those electrodes in between so that's how batteries work but they have nothing to do with power generation